Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Okay, so in the previous lesson, we covered the basic assertions that JUnit 4 uh, provides, uh, particularly, you know, assert true, assert false, um, assert for object equality, assert for arrays, assert for nullity, and so on. So those are basic uh, fundamental assertions that JUnit provides. So what I'm going to cover in this lesson is how you can leverage um, the um, Hamcrest matchers to write very expressive tests. So these matchers, as you will see, are some sort of, uh, you know, basically syntactic sugar that you utilize in your tests to make them very, very expressive. Uh, th and that's the whole point of these um, matchers. So you, you will need to add a dependency for the um, Hamcrest matchers. Um, so in terms of the dependencies, a JUnit comes uh, packaged with the Hamcrest core. But if you want to extend that, you will need to have the Hamcrest library. Pick any version. I'm using version 1.3, uh, which is the latest stable version as of as of when I record this March 19. So these are basically the assertions that we cover on the previous lesson. And they come with um, JUnit. And if you look here, Hamcrest Core 13.char. So these are advanced um, matchers that we are going to cover in this lesson, and as well as additional matchers that come from the Hamcrest library. Okay, so now that we covered the basics of uh, you know adding the dependencies to the IDE, let's write some uh, Hamcrest assertions. Let me add a test method. And if you recall, we were writing very simple, for example, we're writing that the library size was equal to 10. And if you recall, the library is nothing but a collection of books and book is essentially a data object which represents a line here on the CSV. So um, I'm not gonna cover this here, but basically there is this book DA object which parses this book CSV onto a list of um, uh, these book objects. And uh, the only thing, basically what I was asserting previously was the size of these lists and, and, and so on. So uh, so I know, so we know it's true that the size of this library of books is 10. That equivalent assertion that we wrote was assert equals that, uh, which is equivalent that the library size, uh, so the actual value uh, is after, so the expected value comes first it's true that the library size equals 10. So those, these were two assertions that we wrote. And obviously, if I run this, obviously passes. Uh, let's write this test using Hamcrest matches to see how it's much more expressive. So the main uh, assertion that Hamcrest provides is assert that. So I want to assert that the size of the library, then I'm going to pick the uh, matcher. So core matchers uh, is and again, core matchers equal to 10. Now, obviously, I'm going to add a static import here to make this thing very, very, um, you know, expressive and readable. So I would argue that this test, which is exactly equivalent to either of these, it's much more expressive. It reads almost like English. Assert that library size is equal to 10. I mean, this is as, as close as it gets to English. So now if I write this test, then it passes. That's the power of the Hamcrest assertions. It adds a lot of syntactic sugar and makes your tests um, readable. So that's uh, something very basic that we did. If you recall, we also I also wrote that I use assert not same that the, um, you know, for example, new object, new object. These objects are not the same. And um, you can write this using the Amcrest assert that uh, new object not the same uh, instance and new object. Okay, so that's again equivalent to this, but much more expressive. Assert that this new object is not the same instance as this object. So again, if we write, if we run this, then it passes. Moving on with the assertions that we can do with Hamcrest, there is another one, cool one, which we can 
basically use um, if we're working with strings which are so pervasive in Java uh, there is you know um, support for um, matchers which are which work with strings so for example let's say that I have a I'm working with you know one of the one one of my the books in my library like say effective Java and I want to assert that this um, you know uh, title contains a string uh, for example Java right so again this is something very expressive that you can just write like that right so this was a very simple um, um, you know a matcher that is just basically matching this is just a single matcher now one nice thing about the uh, hamcrest matchers is that you can compose them uh, you know using boolean expressions so let me exemplify here so let's say that I want to assert that not only that this book contains the string Java but it actually contains both the effective and the Java string okay so the way to do that I just basically need to compose uh, or build a matcher that um, is composed of two contain string matchers um, and uh, the way you do it is so for example let me get effective Java and there is this matcher called both and this matcher basically is composed, um, you know, accepts uh, a composition of matchers. So contains string Java. Um, so let me just close this and contains the string um, effective. Okay. Um, another way that you could have written this is assert that. Okay, so too much typing here. Let me just duplicate this and assert that defective Java. Um, so you can do um, all of, and then you do contains string effective and uh, contains the string Java. Okay, so now if you write, if you run this uh, test method. And everything passes so these are equivalent I mean both is if you are dealing only with two matchers all of um, it's basically an end of any uh, matches right I could have written here more all of it is, is, is an end okay so we have introduced these some basic matchers for strings now let's say that we have a, a collection um, you know for example um, let's get the um, our DAO uh, and let's get the book titles terminate this introduce book titles so now we have these book titles uh, which is you know as the name implies a collection of the titles of the books in my library and uh, let's write some more assertions so I, c I can assert that for example let's say I'm trying to determine whether one of the uh, books in my library you know he is the effective Java book then I'll just to assert that the book title as an item and I can just write the name of the book effective Java okay so that's a nice one so I'm asserting that one item in my library is you know is effective Java so to show you how um, powerful these matters are in terms of expressiveness you know, and functionality let me write the same assertion without using the assert that or has item so the first thing I need to do is I need to you know get the equivalent um, condition here so if I get a stream and I say it matches any title um, that is equal to uh, effective Java okay uh, then I can do so any match and now uh, you know what I want to do is I want to assert uh, true okay so I mean obviously I'm leveraging the power of the Java streams API but you know I would argue that it's easy for me to write this than having to write that and we will see as we write more powerful examples that you know it reduces boilerplate but that's this these two things are equivalent you know but obviously I had I, I wrote last year and, and this is more expressive this is a simple assertion where I'm asserting that one item in my um, a book titles you know matches um, uh, this so at least one 
what if I want to assert uh, more than one? For example, then you know there is a an assert, uh, a matcher here as items, and as items it takes a var arg, so I just pass in a list of books that I am trying to determine that are in my library, like say design patterns, which is an awesome book. Okay, I mean obviously I can compose this even further. I can say that um, you know as an item instead of just saying as an item and just pass the actual um, parameter I can compose this as an item that say starts with for example the word effective right or as an item that ends with the word um, Java so you can uh, you know compose these things uh, and my advice I mean is that come here to the core matches and look at all the options that are here you can um, if you familiar familiarize yourself with all of these matches we can you can write very very expressive um, JUnit uh, tests okay so previously you saw that we use the all of a uh, matcher to effectively build an end of uh, assertions so similar to all of there is the uh, assertion any of which is an or so for example I can write something which is um, design patterns is a great book and I can use any of matcher and I can say that I'm matching that any of the string start with design and for example uh, if I get this right ends with the word book for example and you know you would use this uh, composed matcher to match any string that you would pass here okay so this is matching this is true if either of this or this is true because any of is an or um, if you are dealing with just two elements then you can write this either this starts this or that ends this and obviously I could write something different either it starts with this or you know equal to it doesn't really matter you the point is you can just compose all of these matchers by using boolean logic so we've covered the uh, case of any of which is uh, a or we covered the all of which is a matcher of um, of uh, matchers that uses the end uh, boolean so for completeness let me write one that uses the not so then we have all of these um, you know matchers that use boolean expressions uh, covered so let's say I want to f match um, a string that uh, does not contain either the word C++ nor the word Python then I will write a matcher which is not any of uh, I don't want any 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 of then uh, I'm matching two strings contains string and I said the uh, Python and C++ okay so this uh, matcher matches um, you know the um, negation of any string that contains C++ or Python so this concludes the overview of uh, Hamcrest matchers I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.